Ever wondered what Section 125 of the CRPC is and why it is so important? Well, let's unravel this legal knot together. Section 125 of the Criminal Procedure Code, or CRPC, is a significant provision that underlines the maintenance of wives, children, and parents. It's a lifeline for those who are unable to sustain themselves financially. This provision empowers certain categories of individuals, like a divorced wife or a child, to claim financial support from their spouses or parents, respectively. It's not just a legal obligation, but a moral one, ensuring that no one is left destitute in our society. It's about upholding human dignity, ensuring social justice, and promoting the welfare of individuals who might otherwise be left high and dry. So, it's not just a section in a code, but a beacon of hope for many. Now that you have a basic understanding of what Section 125 of the CRPC is, let's delve deeper into its key components. So, who exactly can claim maintenance under Section 125 of the CRPC? Let's delve into this. First, there's the wife. A woman who has been legally married to her husband and is unable to support herself can claim maintenance. This includes a woman who is divorced or has sought divorce and has not remarried. She can seek financial support if her husband has refused or neglected to provide for her. Next, we have children. This includes both legitimate and illegitimate children who are incapable of maintaining themselves. If they are minors or are mentally or physically disabled, they can claim maintenance from their parents. Lastly, we have parents. Both father and mother, including adoptive parents, can claim maintenance from their children. However, the court must be satisfied that the child, whether son or daughter, has the means to support the parents. It's not as simple as just fitting into one of these categories, though. The person seeking maintenance must also demonstrate that the person from whom they're seeking support has refused or neglected to provide for them. They must prove their inability to support themselves and their dependency on the respondent for financial assistance. In essence, the provisions of Section 125 of the CRPC aim to provide a legal safety net for those who are unable to maintain themselves and have been neglected by those responsible for their upkeep. It's important to note that the claimant must prove their inability to maintain themselves. One cannot simply claim maintenance. There are certain conditions that must be met. Let's delve into these conditions. First off, there's the condition of neglect or refusal. The person seeking maintenance, whether it's a wife, child, or parent, must demonstrate that the respondent, the person from whom maintenance is sought, has neglected or refused to provide financial support. The law steps in to ensure that those who have a legal obligation to maintain others do not shirk their responsibilities. Next up is the condition of dependency. The claimant must establish their inability to maintain themselves. This means they must demonstrate their dependency on the respondent for financial assistance. The law recognizes that some individuals, due to their age, health, or other circumstances, may not be able to support themselves and thus require financial support from others. The third condition is the element of sufficient means. The person from whom maintenance is claimed must have sufficient means to maintain the person claiming. This ensures that the law doesn't impose an undue burden on individuals who themselves may be struggling to make ends meet. Now once these conditions are met, how is the amount of maintenance determined? This is where the quantum of maintenance comes into play. The court will determine the amount of maintenance based on various factors. These include the income and financial capacity of the person liable to pay, the needs of the claimant, and other relevant circumstances. The objective is to ensure that the claimant gets a reasonable and fair amount for their maintenance. The court also specifies the duration for which maintenance should be paid. It can be a temporary or permanent arrangement, depending on the circumstances. And what happens if the person ordered to pay maintenance doesn't comply? Well, in that case, the person seeking maintenance can file an application for the enforcement of the order, and the defaulter may face legal consequences for non-compliance. The court will determine the amount of maintenance based on various factors. So remember, claiming maintenance under Section 125 of the CRPC isn't a free-for-all. It's a legal provision designed to ensure fairness and justice in situations where financial support is required 
The court plays a critical role in determining the quantum duration and enforcement of maintenance. The quantum of maintenance, or the amount to be paid, is not set in stone. It's a carefully considered calculation based on an array of factors. The court takes into account the income and financial capacity of the individual liable to pay, the needs of the claimant, and other relevant circumstances. The aim is to ensure that the person claiming maintenance receives a fair and reasonable amount to support their livelihood. The duration of maintenance isn't fixed either. It can be awarded on a monthly basis and the court can specify a time period for which it should be paid. This could be a temporary or permanent arrangement, depending on the circumstances. For instance, if a wife is seeking maintenance, the court might order her husband to provide support until she is able to financially sustain herself or until she remarries. Enforcement of maintenance is a crucial aspect of Section 125 of the CRPC. If the person who's been ordered to pay maintenance does not comply with the court's order, the person seeking maintenance can file an application for the enforcement of the order. This means that the defaulter could face legal repercussions for non-compliance, ensuring the protection and provision for those who depend on this financial support. Non-compliance with the court's order can lead to legal consequences. There are, however, exceptions where a wife is not entitled to receive an allowance from her husband. Let's delve into these. First, if she is living in adultery. The law doesn't favor a wife who is unfaithful to her spouse, and hence, she loses her right to claim maintenance in such a case. Second, if she refuses to live with her husband without any reasonable or sufficient cause. This essentially means that if a wife, without a justifiable reason, chooses not to live with her husband, she is not eligible to claim maintenance. Lastly, if they are living separately by mutual consent. If both parties agree to live separately, then the wife cannot claim maintenance. This is because the law assumes that financial matters would have been settled at the time of their mutual decision to live apart. So, that's a brief overview of Section 125 of the CRPC, its importance and implications.